drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys want Columbo's to return in season two. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost halfway through chapter three, season two, with six weeks remaining, and I am super excited to bring you guys all the latest updates, free rewards, new weapons, and much, much more in today's video. We are literally one subscriber away from 600,000 subscribers, and since 76.6% of you are still not subscribed, please, one of you, help me out to get this huge milestone, because if you do, you could receive a free gift from me. I give five lucky subscribers every single day. To people who do, drop a like on the video, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with the epic ID down below, and there will be a secret word for you in today's video that you will have to find to give you an even better chance of receiving a gift. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please look at use my support credit code, Apple1. It literally takes one second to put into the item shop, and it is the best way to support me that extra mile. Hope you guys do go into Enjoy the video though, but let's get into it. So starting off in one of the Prowler quests, there is actually a line directly from the Miles Morales game sent to Miles saying you're on your way, just keep going. So it looks like Miles Morales and possibly more Spider-Verse skins are still to come to the game very, very soon. As there's also an encrypted file that hints towards Miles as well. So we might just be seeing him come sooner than we expected. But the web shooters also got updated in this week's update as well, changing camera movement. So it looks like these will be releasing again very, very soon, which will most likely be coming with Miles. Miles Morales and they'll probably be getting some sort of design rework instead of white and red We'll probably be seeing black and red for the Miles Morales colors which is going to be pretty cool so Miles Morales should be coming into the game very very soon the lightsabers are now confirmed to be returning for May the 4th aka Star Wars Day as the lightsaber chest got updated in this week's update and Epic Games are also working on some challenges for one of them is to deal damage with a lightsaber confirming they will be coming back into the game in chapter 3 season 2 and all also possibly bring us some more Star Wars rewards which are going to be so sick because the first set we ever got were absolutely amazing but alongside all of that all of the Star Wars skins will be returning to the item shop as well which is going to be so cool I still don't have the Sith Trooper skin so I'm going to be definitely picking this up let me know in the comment section below if you guys are going to be picking any of the Star Wars cosmetics up a few days ago the new Marvel X Fortnite comic trailer released and in it you guys could see Dr. Sloan wielding the Zapatron which looks to be coming back for chapter 3 season 3 that is going to be absolutely crazy because this weapon has only ever been inside of Fortnite once back in chapter 1 and was only ever used by one person then Epic decided to remove it from the game files and we've never seen it since you guys can see it in the imposters game mode sat in a vault but it now looks like Dr. Sloan is going to use it against the 7 which is going to be so cool bro I am very very excited to see this come into the game hopefully it does come as a mythic weapon with a new Dr. Sloan boss next season bro it's going to be pretty crazy but talking about the Marvel comics, we now know what the rewards are going to be. With reward one, it will be a Spider-Man themed outfit, which is either going to be Miles Morales or Spider-Man 2099. As he was actually seen in one of the comic pages, as you guys can see here, this skin is going to look so, so cool. And they've also updated the Web Slingers last update, like we just talked about. So the Web Slingers will most likely be coming with this comic release, which is going to be super, super cool. But the first rewards either going to be Miles Morales or Spider-Man 2099, which is most likely going to be 2099. For reward number two, we have a new Marvel wrap that is going to be an Iron Man related, which does sound pretty sick. For reward three, we have a new Wolverine pickaxe. Reward four is a spray that's comic exclusive, so you can only get the spray through the comics. Reward five is a loading screen that is comic exclusive. And finally, if you guys have redeemed all five of your rewards, you'll be getting an exclusive outfit, which might just be Galactus, as he was originally supposed to come out as a skin, but we never actually saw him. And in this comic, you guys can see Galactus so it would work perfectly for the final reward being Galactus and I'm not gonna lie it would be so so sick to see him but on the topic of season 3 and lightsabers Darth Vader has been confirmed to be coming in season 3 as a battle pass skin as a brand new and mythic boss confirmed by Tabor Hill and in the Unreal Engine 5 trailer you guys could accidentally see some Fortnite files with one of them saying a chapter 3 season 3 Vader so he will be coming out next season which is gonna be so so sick I'm extremely excited to see him because he will be walking around with a mythic lightsaber which is going to be absolutely insane but also you guys could see prison jonesy in one of these files as well so it looks like we'll finally be getting him as a skin in the battle pass next season which will probably have two styles the one from the comic version where he has his top half of the jumpsuit off and then one with a full jumpsuit on it's going to be pretty sick hopefully you guys are excited for this brand new darth vader boss and skin coming out next season next up is bad news for clumbos as you guys know this week we had a new secret challenge to 
do with Clombos, where you had to gather 10 Clomberries. These have been re-added in this week's update. Before that, last week we had to visit the snow mounds at the top of the islands, where Clombos are currently hibernating until the war is over. So it looks like we won't actually be seeing Clombos return until Season 3, but Epic are working on making them killable, as when they first arrived, everyone tried to eliminate him. But now when they return, we will actually be able to eliminate him, and he will drop a special version of meat and 15 different types of loot, including ammo, mats, consumables, and maybe even weapons, which is going to be super, super awesome. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for Clombos to come back, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like they will be coming back until Season 3, but we will be able to eliminate him. We then have the return of an OG weapon being the LMG, as it will be returning next week for a quest to use it, but it has actually changed quite a lot. They have actually updated the sounds for this gun that do sound pretty cool as well, and it will also have a less ammo but be more accurate. So I'm not sure if it's still going to be as overpowered as it was back in the day, but we'll have to wait and see till Tuesday is when it's going to be returning. We then have some free rewards for you guys to claim, starting off with the new Covert Ops reward, where you guys need to complete all four challenges with the last one releasing in seven days. We'll get one in two days and we'll get one in four days to get to the secret sledge pickaxe that is actually so, so sick. I can't wait to get this reward. It's actually so amazing. So make sure you guys are completing your brand new Covert Ops challenges when they release with the first one getting released yesterday. We then have a brand new exclusive spray for the new Soundwave series happening very, very soon. But all you guys simply need to do is collect the concert coin to get the spray in the Amicidia creative map that will feature in Epic's pick. So you guys don't need to worry about finding the map. It will be on the home screen straight away. So you guys can just jump in and get yourself this free spray. The new Lantern Trials have now started where you guys can sign up with the link in the description to receive yourself the Dream Lantern Bat Blink and the Lead Light to Wrap, which actually looks so, so sick. So make sure you guys are doing this because you'll never be able to get these rewards ever again. The Street Sign Pickaxe was actually disabled in this update as well as it is coming with a brand new lava style and Fortnite accidentally added it early and it looks so, so cool. But the Complex Skin is actually part of this set as well and she actually does have a lava style in the skin survey. So I assume when this skin does release, we will be seeing a lava style for the skin and the pickaxe, which is going to be so, so sick. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for this skin to come back. The Omega skin from the skin surveys will also be releasing very soon as well. Epic added a meta tag, Carbide Knight Male, and Carbide is the code name for the Omega and Carbide outfits back in Chapter 1 Season 4. So this could be dropping any day now. It's most likely encrypted right now, but the skin is going to be so, so sick. Let me know if you guys are excited for this skin to drop because it is going to be absolutely amazing. The most recent update, we were given with a load of new leaks about the Doomsday device returning. John Jones talks about how the IO love the Doomsday devices and have a whole facility about making them and they have already one in development. This will not come as a surprise, but IO management loves Doomsday machines. Loves them. There's even a Doomsday division at HQ. Oh man, their softball team is awful. But they will one day destroy us all, so kind of a wash. We have very credible intel that one of the IO's doomsday devices is now in production. But it does sound like there is going to be more than one. The way John Jones did refer, they've already got one in development. It looks like there's going to be multiple doomsday devices for this event. And as you guys already know, last time we messed the doomsday device, it turned the whole map into water. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what multiple doomsday devices do. And with these seven fighting over POIs, the final location the IO will be at is over at Loot Lake and Command Cavern. And in the same audio log, Jonesy tells us to put recon cameras around Loot Lake. So it looks like the live event will happen around Loot Lake because Dr. Sloan is also supposed to move very soon across the other side of the lake as a brand new location for her, which looks to me she is starting the very first stage of the live event, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I am very, very excited for this event. But we only have six weeks left of this season already. This season's flown by. So in our next update on the 3rd of May, we'll be getting a lot more more leaks about this live event, including a brand new live event countdown appearing on the island, most likely above Loot Lake and also in the lobby. But that's everything we have in today's video for you guys. New leaks about the brand new live event, new leaks about Clombo returning next season, Darth Vader coming to the game, brand new weapons and a load of new Marvel rewards coming. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button because 76.6% of you are not subscribed and it does get you a better
better chance of receiving a gift. And the secret word for today's video is Apple. So make sure you guys are commenting that if you guys want a better chance to get a gift. But remember, if you guys are not here, like I just said, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button. And if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please look at to use my support credit code Apple One. It literally takes one second to put into the item shop, and it is the best way to support me that extra mile. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video though, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ten toes down on my right.